In this demonstration, we'll look at how we can configure DFS replication. So in an earlier demo, we installed the role, and then in another demo, what we did is we actually created a namespace. So now what we're going to do is we're going to replicate these folders between servers. So the first thing we're going to do here is just going to our DFS management. And what we want to do here is we just want to find our proposals folder, right click. And what we want to do here is we actually want to replicate this. So what we're going to do here is we're going to add a folder target. And then what we're going to do here is specify the path. And we're going to specify that as backslash backslash lon hyphen serve for backslash proposal underscore docs. We'll then select OK. It's telling us here that the folder does not exist. Do we wish to create it? Yes, we do. We'll then fill out and create the share. So we'll go for the local path or shared folder. I'm going to specify that as C colon backslash proposal underscore docs. And what we're going to do here is we're going to give administrators full access and other users will have the read write permission. So at this point here, we'll select OK. Again, we'll read the warning and we will create the folder. And as we can see, it has now created that folder. Yes, we are going to create a replication group, so we'll select yes. And what this has done is this has brought us into our replication group and replicated folder name wizard. So within our replicated folder wizard, the next thing we're going to do here is accept the defaults that we've already got in place. So we'll select next. That then brings us into replication eligibility. And what we can see here is both longserve1 and longserve4 are both eligible. So we'll select next at this point here. On the primary member page at this point here, all we need to do is specify the server has the content that we wish to replicate, which is lon serve one and select next. On the topology selection page, all we're going to do here is we're just going to leave the default of full mesh. So as we can see here, everything replicates with everything and we'll select next. We'll just leave the default of replicating continuously using the specified bandwidth, which is full and select next. Then all we'll do, just on the review page, have a quick read through and select create. Everything's come up with tick, so everything's good, so we'll select close. What we can see here is replication will not begin until the configuration is picked up by the members of the replication group. The amount of time this takes depends on the Active Directory services replication latency as well as a polling interval. So yep, we're happy with that, we'll select OK. Then what we've got, if we just expand up replication, click on the datum.com backslash research, and what we can see here is we can see the proposal docs folders. We can see it's enabled. We can see the two servers, see the proposals, and we can also see the staging quote as well. If we look at connections, we can see the connections in place, active directory domains, and also sites. And then if we look at the replicated folders, we can see it's a proposals folder and delegation here. What we can see is we can see who have permissions. And that's the end of this demonstration of creating replication with DFS. Thank you.